Hey guys, today we're going to create a simple PM in Limble. To do that first we need to have an asset. Once we have that asset we'll want to go to the PM tab on that assets card. In here we can see the list of all of the PM templates, all of its open PMs, and all of its completed PMs for this individual asset. So to get started we'll go ahead and click new PM template. In here we're going to make a blank template and we're going to call it the quarterly PM. Once we have that created we're going to need to do three things to get it going. First, we're going to need to set the instructions. Then we're going to need to set the schedules. And then we're going to choose who we want it assigned to. Is it going to be a team or an individual? So let's go ahead and add that, uh, the first instructions. So we come in here, click Add Instruction, choose the type. In this case, we want them to check off that they've done something. And the first thing we want them to check off that they've done is to clean or replace the air filters. Now let's have them check off that they've done something else. Let's have them inspect the evaporator coil, uh, drain pan, and drain lines. And let's have them clean as needed. And then finally, let's go ahead and have them check off one other thing. And let's have them inspect the burner assembly. And let's clean as needed as well. Now let's actually have them clean and adjust as needed. Adding instructions is really just that simple. You simply click add instruction and then choose what, what type. You can have uh, your technicians do a bunch of different stuff. Check off that they've done something, record text, record numbers, choose from drop down lists or radio lists, take a picture, um, choose dates, start other PMs, start work orders. There's a lot of power here. We'll dive into these different types uh, in depth in the advanced PM building tool. Um, by no means do you need to use all these different types. A lot of our customers just simply use uh, checkbox because they just want to create checklists and that's perfectly fine. But the power is most definitely there so that you can build um, out your, your, your company's maintenance knowledge. And that's really valuable uh, to have this all documented so that say your technician leaves and finds a different job. When your new technician comes on, he'll have a nice, great checklist of exactly what he or she needs to do. And documenting and having all that information so you don't have to retrain the tech is just really, really valuable. Additionally, having a detailed PM makes sure that they're doing the right work for that piece of equipment um, and they know exactly what to do. And we'll dive into all of this a, a little bit more in the advanced PM builder. There's things like adding instructional images and all sorts of great fun stuff that you can do to really document the maintenance knowledge so that your techs are doing the right thing when you bring on new techs, they know what to do. Just a lot of, a lot of great um, power and functionality there. So once we have the instructions built the way that we want, we're going to want to look and see um, what the technicians see when, then, when they receive this PM. So we can actually click test the PM and see, all right, the technician, when they receive this, um, will see these three instructions. And so how the PM scheduler works is once a night, um, it checks, all right, what PM should I create for tomorrow? It goes ahead and creates those PMs and then assigns them out to whoever we assign it to. And that person that gets it assigned to them, they'll receive a push notification on their phone and they'll also receive an email so that they know, hey, this PM is scheduled for me. And then they can pull out the Limble app on their phone, um, look at the exact instructions and go complete that work. And they would simply you know, come in and check that they've uh, cleaned and replaced the air filters, they've inspected the evaporator coil, et cetera, et cetera. And once they've done all the instructions, they can go ahead and click complete and close out this PM. So now that we have the instructions fully set, the next thing we want to do is add the schedules. And so we're going we're to go ahead and click this uh, calendar button right here. Click add a schedule and then choose the frequency. We can do daily, weekly, monthly, yearly, every X number of units, and even threshold. Every X number of units is great for things like mileage or hours ran or other uh, meter reading type things. We'll go over the scheduling of these two uh, again in that advanced PM building tutorial. But for this case, let's go ahead and set monthly. We'll set it for the weekday and then say, all right, every three months on the first Monday and click save. Now that that's set, we can go ahead and click on this button here and see how it's going to play out. 
So since we said every three months and we said start in December, it goes ahead and finds that first Monday to occur, and that would be January 1st. And you can see after, after that one is scheduled, we'll go ahead and then in April and so forth. Now, as these schedules actually get created and signed out, the, uh, a new schedule gets added onto the end. So right now we're scheduled out to 2020, but as we do this January, a new one will come onto the end. And finally, we need to choose who it's going to be assigned to. So we can have it to the technician team, we can have it to Tom, we can have it to whoever we want. And we can actually set up more teams and add more users just depending on how your organization is. So let's, for this case, let's go ahead and give it to Tom. And now we're set up. We have our first PM added. We'll have quarterly PM work for this HAC um, queued up and good to go. And you can actually see for your location all of the PM schedules in a calendar view. And uh, that way you can see exactly your workload on what day and so forth. Additionally, you can see your open work um, in this list as well. And it looks like yesterday there was, a heating, there, there was heating problems that hasn't been resolved on this HVAC either. What's also great about this calendar view is you can drag and drop these around or even click for details. So in this case, let's see, this is going to happen on New Year's. And so let's say that's a holiday at our company and we don't want to do any work on that day. We can simply drag and drop that over and now that's, that PM will be created on the second and not the first. Additionally, you can click and get the details of the work that's going to come up and you can see there's all the instructions that we built. Well, that's basically setting up a simple PM. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below or send us an email at mel at limbocms.com. We're always looking to improve our tutorials or the tools, so if you have any questions or feedback, please don't hesitate to uh, reach out to us. Once again, thank you for watching this tutorial, and you guys have a great day.